What's up everyone, welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about the best upcoming movies. The curtain has finally fallen on the 118 day actor strike and a 148 day Writers Guild of America strike that loomed over the film industry. As the clock struck 12.01 a.m. on Thursday morning, the entertainment world breathed a collective sigh of relief as global Hollywood feature productions got the green light to resume. Despite earlier studio warnings that the holiday season might delay the kickoff until January, behind-the-scenes work has been in full swing for the resumption of projects that hit pause back in July. Among the blockbuster films poised to make a comeback this week or in the very near future are Marvel Studios slash Disney's highly anticipated Deadpool 3, starring the dynamic duo Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman with direction from the talented Sean Levy. Fans can also look forward to the revival of Paramount's Gladiator 2 in Europe, Warner Brothers' much-awaited Tim Burton-directed Beetlejuice 2, Clint Eastwood's Juror No. 2, and Sony's Venom 3. One project high on the priority list for a swift return to the set is Wayfarer Studios' co-financed Sony adaptation of Colleen Hoover's best-selling novel, It Ends With Us. The film, starring Blake Lively and Justin Baldoni, hit a roadblock with WGA pickets back in June, but now has its sights set on a February 9, 2024 theatrical release. The film industry, exhibitors, and studios are gearing up for a potential shakeup to the 2024 theatrical release schedule. Disney's Bob Iger recently expressed concern on CNBC, warning that if the strike persisted, next summer's theatrical slate could be in jeopardy. Other productions eager to resume shooting include Apple Original Films' untitled F1 movie featuring none other than Brad Pitt. Looking ahead to early 2024, exciting projects in the pipeline include Disney's Tron 3, Warner Brothers' Minecraft starring Jason Momoa and directed by Jared Hess, New Line's Mortal Kombat 2, and Lionsgate's Good Fortune starring Aziz Ansari, Keanu Reeves, and Seth Rogen, which was halted by the WGA strike in May but is now set to resume production. Additionally, Lionsgate's thriller Sunflower, directed and written by Misha Green, is gearing up to start filming. Mortal Kombat 2, just like many other projects, hit pause during the SAG-AFTRA strike in July 2023, putting a temporary halt to production after just a few weeks. But fear not, the strike is officially over and, according to Deadline, the highly anticipated sequel is gearing up to kick off filming, with producer Todd Garner even hinting that it might happen before early 2024. Following the success of the 2021 reboot, the buzz around a sequel was almost immediate, fueled by strong viewership on HBO Max and a decent box office performance despite COVID-19 restrictions. Joe Taslim's revelation to Variety that he signed on for four sequels in case of the reboot's success only added to the anticipation. Warner Brothers gave the green light to Mortal Kombat in January 2022, with director Simon McCoy returning to helm the sequel. Much to the delight of fans, many of the original cast, including Josh Lawson's Kano and Max Huang's Kung Lao, are set to make a comeback, defying their character's apparent demise in the 2021 film. The sequel promises some exciting additions to the character roster, with Mortal Kombat mainstays like Johnny Cage, Kitana, and Baraka joining the fray. The boys' Carl Urban is reportedly in the final stages of talks to play Cage, as teased by producer Todd Garner in a social media post featuring Urban and other cast members. While details about the plot remain scarce, Mortal Kombat 2 is expected to pick up the story after the events of the reboot. Fans, buzzing with anticipation on social media, hope the sequel will dive into the titular tournament teased by the ending of the previous film. Only time will unveil the thrilling details of what's in store for the Mortal Kombat universe. Ryan Reynolds, our favorite merc with the mouth, recently treated fans to a sneak peek at Dogpool, a new character set to join the antics in Marvel's upcoming Deadpool 3. Reynolds, always one to bring the humor, joked on Twitter, did Dogpool save the day? Not a chance in gremlin hell but she is currently causing the Disney plushie merch department nightmares, coming with the movie Summer 2024. So now it'll release on the 26th of July 2024. 
Directed by Sean Levy, Deadpool 3 promises to be a star-studded affair, with Reynolds reprising his iconic role as Wade Wilson slash Deadpool. Joining the fun are familiar faces like Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, Leslie Uggams as Blind Al, Karan Sony as Dopinder, and a stellar cast of returning and new talents, including Emma Corrin and Matthew McFadden. I don't know about you, but this may be the film I'm looking forward to most. Exciting news for fans of The Boys, Season 4 is on the horizon, set to grace our screens in 2024, and Amazon has dropped two eye-catching posters featuring the much-anticipated return of legendary characters Homelander and Butcher. The visuals showcase a stark contrast in mood, with Homelander reveling in celebration amid confetti and balloons, while Butcher seems less than thrilled with the festivities. The festive atmosphere hints at the upcoming election day in the United States, a topic that teased its relevance at the end of season 3. Showrunner Eric Kripke spilled the beans to Variety, revealing that season 4 will pick up shortly after the events of the Gen V spin-off's last episode. Notably, the timeline will stay crystal clear, with Gen V season 2 set after The Boys season 4. The spin-off's events will weave into the main series, but fear not, watching Gen V isn't a prerequisite for enjoying the boys. While the release date remains elusive, we know it's locked in for 2024. However, with strikes causing some delays, the smart money is on a second half release. Disney has decided to give us a little more time to prepare for the Merc with the Mouth's return, pushing back the release of Deadpool 3 from May 3, 2024 to July 26, as reported by Deadline. The good news is that production on Deadpool 3 is revving back up in London, where Marvel and Disney cleverly kept the film sets intact during the production hiatus. However, it seems like the reshuffling domino effect has hit other Marvel Studios films as well. Captain America Brave New World, initially scheduled for July 26, 2024, will now hit theaters on February 14, 2025. Meanwhile, Blade has been pushed back to November 7, 2025, and Thunderbolts will now electrify the screens on July 25, 2025. Interestingly, Deadpool 3 stands alone as the sole Marvel Cinematic Universe film set to grace us with its presence in 2024, a significant departure from the usual pattern of multiple Marvel releases each year. It raises the question of how this relative drought might influence the audience's appetite for superhero adventures. The recent strikes by the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, and the Writers Guild of America have thrown Hollywood's production schedules into chaos. Marvel Studios, along with other productions, found themselves at different stages of completion before the strikes. Captain America Brave New World had reportedly wrapped up principal photography, leading to speculations about a potential slot change. On the other hand, Blade and Thunderbolts were still in the pre-production phase. Outside the Marvel realm, Disney also had to shake up plans for the CGI Lion King prequel, Mufasa the Lion King, moving its release date to December 20th, 2024, instead of July 5th. And let's not forget Sony Pictures, which decided to give Venom fans a bit more anticipation, shifting the release date for its third Marvel character movie from July 12th, 2024 to November 8th of the same year. James Gunn's Superman Legacy is back on track and set to take flight as filming resumes in March 2024. The acclaimed director, now co-CEO of DC Studios alongside Peter Safran, is poised to bring a fresh perspective to the DC Extended Universe, aiming for a reboot after a mix of hits and misses. While the DCU has seen success, notably with Wonder Woman earning a solid Rotten Tomatoes score of 93% in 2017, it's no secret that some films, like the 2011 Green Lantern with its 25% score, missed the mark. Gunn and Safran are stepping in to shake things up, with Superman Legacy leading the charge. With the strike behind us, priority films are providing updates on their status. Unfortunately, Venom 3 faces delays. But the silver lining comes in the form of Gladiator 2, starring Pedro Pascal. Fast-tracking production, the Ridley Scott film takes precedence, and Pedro Pascal's commitment is unwavering. James Gunn's Superman Legacy, a priority project put on standby during the summer, is ready to roll. 
Gunn, eager to meet the original June 2025 release date, assures fans that this Superman tale, featuring David Cornsweet as Clark Kent and Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane, won't delve into the origin story fatigue. Gunn shared on social media, I think we've seen his origin enough in film at this time. Instead, he unveils a new chapter in his DC journey, titled Gods and Monsters, introducing a Superman already immersed in a world of heroes, well acquainted with the eternal battle between good and evil. Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock slash Venom won't be crashing the summer movie scene, as Sony Pictures decided to give us a bit more suspense, pushing back the release of the third Venom movie to November 8, 2024. Originally slated for a July 12, 2024 release, the untitled third installment is now set to bring its symbiotic action to theaters a few months later. Kelly Marcel, the talented writer and producer behind the first two Venom movies, takes the director's chair for this superhero film, working from her own screenplay. Marcel, along with Hardy, cooked up the story for Venom 3, and they're joined by a stellar producing team, including Avi Arad, Matt Tomac, Amy Pascal, and Hutch Parker. Tom Hardy's previous ventures as Venom proved to be blockbuster hits, with the first film grossing an impressive $856 million worldwide, and the sequel, Venom Let There Be Carnage, still pulling in a hefty $502 million amid the pandemic. The third installment promises more symbiotic action and mysteries, and while details are tightly under wraps, fans can't wait to see what Venom and Eddie Brock have in store. So mark your calendars for November 8th, 2024. Oh, this one is really exciting. A recent leak from an eagle-eyed NBC Universal employee has given us a glimpse into the ogre-sized future. Shrek 5 is reportedly set to hit theaters in 2025, more than 10 years after the release of Shrek Forever After, the previous installment. According to Discussing Film, the leak came via a now-deleted LinkedIn page of an NBC Universal employee who listed Shrek 5 among her projects. It seems like the Shrek team is working its magic behind the scenes, keeping this highly anticipated sequel under wraps. The Shrek franchise, born from a beloved children's book character, has already given us four films and two Puss in Boots spin-offs. Earlier this year, Eddie Murphy, the voice behind the iconic donkey, expressed his eagerness for another Shrek adventure, proclaiming he'd jump at the chance. Murphy even suggested a donkey-centric movie, claiming donkey's humor surpasses even that of Puss in Boots. Adding to the excitement, Chris Melodandri, the head of Illumination, hinted at not only Shrek 5, but also potential spin-offs. Melodandri praised Murphy's enthusiasm for the role and teased further expansion of the Shrek universe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.